remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Big Daddy Kane was recently interviewed. The interviewer asked him about his interactions with Kobe Bryant. He said that when he first heard about Kobe's death, he was shocked. He couldn't believe it. He was on the internet and he saw something said, not Kobe. So he Googled it and you know he realized what had happened. And so he was shocked. He said that it was something to see him growing up throughout the years to see his growth uh, from the time that he got into the NBA to where he was in his life at the time of his death. He said that Kobe was indeed one of the greatest. He would put Kobe in his top five. He went on to say that when he first met Kobe, he was standoffish at first because he had heard Kobe was cocky and arrogant. But after he met him, they had a conversation. Kobe talked about buying his music, said that he was a fan. And he said after that, you know, their conversation, he had nothing but the utmost respect for Kobe. Kane addressed the interviewer saying he was the Dr. J of rap since Jay-Z had coined himself the Michael Jordan of rap. When asked who he thought was the Kobe Bryant of rap, Kane responded with, what's the generation after Jay? He paused for a moment, and then he came back with, it would have to be Eminem. Eminem is a bad man. I bet you that you could not find a shortage of people who would argue that Eminem is the Kobe Bryant of rap. What do you think? Here's what I think. It's all suggestive. When you see these top fives, top 20s, top 50s, top 100s, all you have to do is question the source. Take a look at who's compiling the list and their favorites are going to be heavily represented from the city, the town, the region that they're from. <laughs> if, if you're compiling the list and you're from the East Coast, then you're probably going to sway toward East Coast rappers being in your top five, top whatever. If you're from the South, ain't no way you're going to have the majority of your list being East Coast rappers. Same thing with the West Coast. If you're from the West Coast, you're going to be more than likely biased toward West Coast rappers. Same thing with Midwest. So it's all suggestive. But I love to see people go back and forth. It's, it's entertaining to me. Uh, sometimes, you know, people are jumping to those comment threads and stuff, and they'll make sense. And so I like to see when people come with, try to come with reason and, and they try to base it on uh, numbers or influence and stuff like that. I personally believe that, you know, it, it all comes down to, to influence, but it's personal taste because unlike sports where it's a numbers game, everything can be determined by numbers, or most of it can be determined by numbers. Uh, when it comes to hip-hop and what a person's uh, favorite or who a person thinks is the greatest ever, that's all based on who influenced you the most. What artist do you listen to that gets you going? Damn what everybody else says. It don't matter what that number, it don't matter that this person sold 50 million records. To the next man, that person, that rapper might be trash, but because he sold 50 million records, uh, people tend to believe that he's special. You know, he, he's better than everybody else. I mean, as a, an actual rapper, they think that he's better than everybody else. So my top whatever is not necessarily influenced by numbers, but 
there is a, it is a coincidence that the people that I have in my top 10 have done well, but I got a few that are not, don't have those big sales and that other people would say, oh man, uh, who is that? It ain't your business. It's my top 10. You dig what I'm saying? I don't know if we'll move the needle, but I would be interested to know. Who do you think is the Kobe Bryant of rap? Drop a comment. Ready, set, go. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about? Yeah.